Today we're going to be making arroz con gandule with coconut milk. It's super good. I know. I love it. Um, and I just think the rice comes out different when you do it with coconut milk. That's my opinion. But yeah. So we're going to be using for arroz con gandule and coconut milk. We're going to be using the jibarito beans. These are the ones I like to use. But when I placed my order in ShopRite last week, I did ask for the um, gandule, the pigeon piece, to come in milk because these also come in a coconut milk. So when I ordered it, I ordered the pigeon piece, the gandules, and the coconut milk, and they didn't give it to me like that. So it's okay. But if you're going to make this recipe, try. If you don't find it, it's fine, but it, you know, it's better if you get the gandules in the coconut milk. And then this is the coconut milk. Leche de coco. Okay, so to get started, I have my pan. Oh, I turned it off. Okay, so my pan was heating. I had shut it off really quick to set the camera. I'm gonna add a little bit of of masola, or masola oil, just a little bit, because we are going to be frying some bacon. This is bacon slab, and what I did was I just chopped it up into little cubes. We're gonna fry it in this oil. Just make sure it's hot enough when you put your bacon in because you want it to start frying immediately. And we're gonna let this fry into it's like a golden, um, golden crispy color. Let me put one and make sure that it's hot enough. Not that hot. Okay. And make sure your stove is at a high heat. spread out so it should stop frying faster. Now don't do anything to it, just let it um, start frying. So it's been about eight minutes. I just turned my heat down to a six, okay? After about like four minutes, I had took the lid off and I just turned my tocino, my um, bacon, and then I covered it back up for about another four minutes. And this is what we got. This is how I want it, nice and um, crispy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove my bacon from my pot. And I'm going to put it in this glass bowl until I'm ready for it. Okay? And my stove is at a medium right now. Alrighty, there we go. See? Nice and crispy. Alright. Make sure my kids don't pick at it. 
They just came from school and they come from in from school, they're starving, they're hungry, they want to eat everything. All right, guys, so you see that fat from the bacon? That's what we want. I'm going to first add my, as a matter of fact, my onions. I don't want to add my garlic because I don't want my garlic to burn. To that I'm going to add um, my green pepper. So I added one half of onion. I'm gonna add one half of green pepper. And it's still at a medium heat because this is oil and you don't want it splashing out on you when you add your veggies, okay? So now at this point, I'm going to add a half a head of fresh garlic. And now I'm gonna bring my heat up back to high. I'm going to add one cup of cilantro. to add four packets of the ham seasoning pack, jamón. If I can get it out, it would be great. Oh my God, it's like Mission Impossible to get this stuff out of here. Jesus. We're gonna have add two sobres of sazon. I'm adding my coconut milk. Coconut milk. And make sure your stove is still on high, okay? Because we want this to start coming to a boil. I should have added my gandules before I add it. Ugh, my milk, guys, and I messed up, but you can. Um, Season your gandules before adding your milk. I'm sorry. But it will still be good. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cumin. Not a lot. About a teaspoon. a half a platano and the platano is the green banana not the kind that we would eat as a vegetable it's um it's the banana before it turns into a sweet plantain I guess
That coconut milk smells so good. So I'm going to get my plantain and I'm going to get my little scraper here and I'm just going to scrape some into here. And this pot of rice is great for the holidays. I'm telling you guys, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. It's going to taste similar to pasteles. And with that coconut milk in there and this banana, oh my God, it's going to be so good. So this is the recipe you want to use when you're trying to switch it up. When you don't want to bring that basic arrojongandus that everybody brings or everybody makes and you want to step it up, this is what you do. wash my hands and grab my rice. At this point you can taste your sauce and make sure it tastes good that it doesn't need anything else. Let me grab a clean spoon. Oh my God, it tastes delicious. It doesn't need anything. Okay, let's put our rice in. And this is four cups of long grain rice. And the brand, guys, seriously, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna give this a good mix. get our bacon and we're going to add it back in. We're going to add the bacon in at this point. That way it can marinate with that coconut milk that we have in there. What do you taste some crab salad? I'm going to go to the pork. Adding, yeah, you do. One cup of one cup of water because we added the two cans of coconut milk. So because we added the two cans of coconut milk, which each can of milk is 3.5 ounces. So because we added two of these, we don't need that much. Um, water so that's why we only added one cup of water and we're giving it a good mix that way we can incorporate all the flavors and then i'm going to grab a clean spoon and give it a taste and see if i need to add anything mm. this is so good all i have to add is a little bit of salt And now I am going to, this is the other half of my um, plantain. I'm just making myself a little handle. That's just something I like to do. I learned from the, from the OGs. Okay, here's my little handle. That way I can grab it and we're going to Put a little more in on the top and then give it a good shake. I mean a good turn. Okay. 
perfect. Let me just wash my hands. And we're gonna give it one last turn and then we're going to let a little bit of the water evaporate before covering it. Make sure this whole time your stove has been on a high heat, guys. It's a good fall dish to make because the smell of coconut milk, I don't know, it's just in pork because who doesn't love pork? I mean, I love pork. Who doesn't love bacon? I love bacon. Mm. The rice is good. does not need nothing. All right, guys, so we're going to allow this to come to a boil and then we're going to cover it up. Five minutes later, this is what we have. Most of the coconut milk and that one cup of water has absorbed into our delicious rice. At this point, guys, turn your stove down to a medium to low heat, like so. my foil and I am going to cover my rice like so, so. Okay. and I'm going to allow this to cook for I'm gonna say about probably 35 to 40 minutes we'll come and check on it but don't be left in the the lid, okay, until about 30 minutes, and then you can check on your rice. Until then, let us do a thing. Don't lift the lid, don't do nothing. Set your time, Alexa, set the timer for 30 minutes. All right, guys, so it's been exactly 30 minutes. My timer just went off. It's super hot. Oh my god. The noise in the background is the air fryer because I have my tripod right on it if you hear it. I have my pork chops in there. Um, this is the rice. Oh my god, it smells so good. this is the end result or oh, I have a macaroni there but this is our coconut rice gandule with coconut rice and our pork is so freaking good um, I made a smoked pork chop with it the first time I had these pork chops were in Puerto Rico my mom made them so I came out here and I looked for them and I found them in the Puerto Rican supermarket tropical tropical yeah I think that's the name of it and they sell them there and it they're good they're delicious and this is the macaroni salad crab macaroni salad that I made earlier um, so look out for the tutorial for this as well so this is today's dinner it's absolutely delicious you guys make sure that you look out for both tutorials let me know how you like yeah. them. <laughs>
<laughs> if you're new to my channel, hi. If not, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.